And it would just seem sad that it's been here for so long that it would leave. It would be very sad. Be sad. <laughs> it's very disappointing. It is. It's very disappointing. Fans we spoke with sharing the same feelings about the potential move of the Western and Southern Open, including Renee and Todd Jackson. They've traveled from Indianapolis to the tournament for the past 11 years. They say the fan experience in Mason is one of a kind. You get to sit about 10 yeah. feet to 20 feet away from Djokovic and then Dimitrov all in the same day and Berrettini, all the favorite tennis players, and you're right beside the court and you can't get that anywhere else. I'd heard last year that this was the place to be. I'd done the U.S. Open and everyone said you need to go to Cincinnati where you see big names. The tournament may soon move to Charlotte, North Carolina. Beekmont Capital, the group which purchased the tournament last year, is deciding between the two cities. Both have tremendous opportunity, and but both also have it, their challenges. Both Charlotte and Mason have committed funds to expand the tournament in the coming years. Tournament director Todd Martin says he expects a decision on the future of the tournament within the next few months. It's a difficult uh, deliberation process. It, it's good that it's coming to an end. It's good that we have... Um, uh, some urgency now to make that decision. Martin says there's no doubt the love for the tournament seen every year in Mason. We know we have a fan base here. We won't go anyplace else. If, it, if they move it, we won't go. But if they stay, we'll be here next year. In Mason, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. And the Western and Southern will be held in Mason through next Sunday. Tomorrow, gates open at 10 in the morning. The first matches begin at 11. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.